Assalamu alaikum everyone, my name is Gul Bahar and I am the member of Gul's Pharma. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about the topic of Ondensetron. Now, what is Ondensetron? Ondensetron is a serotonin 5-H3 receptor antagonist which is used to prevent nausea and vomiting in cancer, chemotherapy and post-operity. Ondensetron blocks the action of chemicals in the body which can trigger nausea and vomiting. It can be given to the patient through following routes. It can be given by orally through tablets, IV infusions, rectal spostries, and injections. Let's talk about the origin of Ondensetron. It was developed in the mid of 1980s by GSK in London. It received patent protection in 1987 and used patent protection in 1998. FDA approved the drug in the January of 1991 to treat nausea and vomiting in cancer patients. Let's move towards the pharmacokinetic properties of Ondensetron. The absorption of the oral tablet usually takes around 1-2 to two hours which can vary depending upon patient's conditions and age. Almost 73-75% to 75 of the drug is protein bound which affect absorption rate. In humans, the substrate for the metabolism of Ondensetron is hepatic cytochrome P450 enzyme which includes CYP1A2, CYP2D6 and CYP3A4. The CYP3A4 plays very important role. It has a half-life of about 3 to 4 hours and then eliminated out through the urine. Moving towards the pharmacodynamics of Ondensetron. Ondensetron is a selective antagonist of the serotonin receptor subtype 5-HT3. Serotonin 5-HT3 receptor sites are present on the vagal nerve terminals and certain areas of the brain. Serotonin 5-HT3 antagonists bind to the 5-HT3 receptor sites to suppress the nausea and vomiting. On the clinical significance, Ondensetron is indicated in cases of post-operative nausea and vomiting. It might also be indicated as chemotherapy-induced case of vomiting. It is contraindicated in case of any hypersensitivity reaction towards the drug. It is also contraindicated in young children and pregnant women as it can pass to the baby by crossing the placenta. It should also be avoided to be used alongside vomiting agonists such as epomorphine and also CYP3A4 inhibitors and inducers which may also affect the concentration of drug in the body. Now the question rises in our mind that what happens if I overdose on Ondensetron? The maximum dose of Ondensetron is 32 mg. In taking more than that might lead to overdose. So overdose symptoms may include sudden loss of vision, severe constipation and fainting. There is no specific antidote for Ondensetron. Patient should be managed with appropriate supportive therapy. I hope that you like this video. Thank you so much.